Hello and welcome again to another episode of the Longoni Rock Show. Well, it's come again, that time of the year, Record Store Day. So Record Store Day is here for another year. This day is like the Super Bowl of record nerdery. We get up early, we head to the record store. Some of us line up at stupid o'clock to get those, uh, you know, to get those limited releases. I've done it myself. There's even videos here proving it on this very channel that we lined up at stupid o'clock outside Greville Records in order to get the Ramones box set. Well, this year, there was another Ramones release. It was a demos of the first album. I didn't get it. I couldn't find it. The store I went to, they only got one copy. One copy that was gone. So I'm going to have to keep trying. You know, like I'll find it somewhere, someday. Uh, but today was not that day. But anyway, I will show you the stuff that I do have. And let's have a look at these. Starting with Motorhead, Remorse No. Which, I didn't know what this was actually going to be. I just thought it was going to be a reissue of No Remorse with bonus tracks or something like that. But then I realised they can't really fit any more tracks on a double album. Like, there's already shitloads on there as it is. But what it actually is, is... Um, it's demo versions and alternate versions of the songs. Which is pretty cool. Like, I did not know and I was not expecting that. So, yeah. Very, very cool. So I'm looking forward to getting stuck into that. Uh, by the way, I have a cold. Uh, and I sang a gig last night, so my voice is shot. And tonight I'm making things worse because I'm going to see Blondie and Alice Cooper, so my voice is going to be destroyed. Next record, the Punk 45 collection. I love these collections more than anything. I think these Punk 45 collections are amazing, especially considering the price of some of these singles is just stupid. Uh, so you can get the songs, you know, on vinyl still, but in these comp formats, and you don't actually have to get up and change the single every three minutes, even though I like doing that. But I'm just saying, uh, these comps are awesome, and this one came out for Record Store Day. I assume they're going to have more copies on the, the website. That, uh, what is it? What are they called? Soul Jazz Records. Uh, I've bought stuff from that website before, so uh, I assume that they will have these. So if your store didn't get it, uh, yeah, you can get it from them. The Offspring Splinter Picture Disc. This is a 20th anniversary edition LP. I don't know, man. Like, I love Offspring. And I was into them before the, the big thing in 94 happened. And then when Americana came out, like most people that were diehard Offspring fans, we kind of felt lost when we heard Pretty Fly for a White Guy. We were kind of like, this isn't the Offspring I remember. And I kind of dismissed them after that. I was just done. I was like, oh, I'm not listening to this. And that was a fault on my part because over the years, uh, I've gone back and revisited those records, and I've got to say that there are songs on those albums. I still don't get into Pretty Fire for a White Guy, but there are songs on those records that are just amazing. So I've gone back and I've uh, you know checked out all the other Offspring releases that I've been ignoring since realised that there are so many amazing songs on those other records. So yeah, so now yeah, I, Offspring back on the Offspring train, Public Enemy. Recorded live in Melbourne. Amazing set list on this, though. Uh, recorded in 2003, December 1st. I was not at this show because I did not live in Melbourne at that time. Really looking forward to cranking this one up. I've never heard this show before, but it's Public Enemy and one of my favourite hip-hop groups of all time. Iggy and the Stooges. I don't really care for a lot of live records, but this one, I couldn't really pass it up. It's a mixture of great songs from both the first and second record. So, uh, yeah, I had to get this. This Iggy and the Stooges. Like, it's just awesome. Like, you know, you've got Ron Ashton in the band. And, uh, yeah, just recorded in 2005 in Belgium. And look at that track listing. How good is that track listing? Translucent blue vinyl. So good. Now here's a garage comp uh, that I grabbed. 1,500 copies. So this looks like it's going to be awesome. So there it is there. Toasty Treasures from Minnesota's K-Bank Studio. I know nothing about these bands, but I'm about to learn a lot. But, you know, it's got, like, all these old bands on there, like, you know, Little Caesar and the Conspirators, 
Frank Martin is in the Ferrymen, the Swinging Canadians, the High Spirits. I don't know these bands. So I'm really looking forward to uh, checking this stuff out. I love comps, man. I really do. Like these old garage comps because finding these singles is a nightmare. So I'm really stoked that I can uh, get these hold of these comps and, you know, dive in. This is interesting. I had to grab this. Paramore covering Burning Down the House by Talking Heads and David Byrne covering Hard Times. Really, really interesting idea. But yeah, pretty cool. And I love, uh, I love that song, Burning Down the House. I've not heard Paramore's version of it before, but I really do love Talking Heads and I love that song. And David Byrne, man, what a songwriter that guy is. So I'm looking forward to listening to that. Replacements Live. Now this live uh, album is actually on the uh, Tim box set, but on CD. But here is the vinyl version of it. So what does it say here? Featuring a complete live show from the January 1986 Tim tour. Includes liner notes from Matt's biographer, Bob Mayer. Replacements, fam. We all love them. This was possibly, besides the Ramones demos record, this was my most sought after LP. And I really, really wanted this one. It is Tinted Windows album, finally on vinyl. If you don't know this band, well, let's go through it. James Iyer from Smashing Pumpkins. Taylor Hansen from Hansen. Bunny Carlos from Cheap Trick. Adam Schlesinger, may he rest in peace. One of the greatest songwriters ever from Fountains of Wayne. They got together and they did this band. And I believe this is the only album they did. But it's a fantastic record. Now, don't let the Taylor Hansen thing put you off. Because I know that a lot of people shun at Mbop. But trust me, man. This is a power pop gem. This is one of the greatest records. Like, it's just amazing. you got to listen to it. And it probably didn't get the push that it deserved. Uh, but finally, someone's put it out on vinyl. And so, so happy to have this. This record is amazing. So glad it finally got a vinyl release. I don't know what took it so long. I mean, this album came out in 2009, 15 years ago. And finally, it's got a uh, vinyl release. There you go. I got the double LP version of the soundtrack to one of my favorite movies of all time. As you know, if you've been watching the Japanese videos, I went to the hotel and, and, all, and did a whole bunch of stuff there. But yeah, I love this soundtrack. And this is an expanded version of it. I do have the single record version that came out on Records Today a bunch of years back. But when there was going to be a deluxe version released, I had to grab it because I love this movie so much. Great movie starring uh, Bill Murray and Scully Johansson. That's her butt on the front. Recommended to me by my friend Natalie of Natalie Does Nothing fame. And uh, she recommended this band to me, Los Cesos. And I know nothing about this band, but she recommended it to me ages ago, like ages and ages ago. And I listened to a song and immediately I was blown away by how good it was. If you don't know this band, look it up. Uh, she was on a winner. And yeah, when she told me and I listened to it, I was just like, holy shit, this needs to be in my collection. Fantastic Spanish garage rock. Can't go wrong here. Check it out. If you love that stuff, you're going to dig this. This Eric Carr box set, Unfinished Business. The eyes light up. I haven't plugged it in though, so... I don't know if it works. I don't know how it works. Uh, I haven't opened it up yet, but I'll get to that. And yeah, I listened to this stuff online years ago, and I really enjoyed the songs. And so yeah, this one's an expanded, so you've got all these bonus tracks on there. That's pretty cool. But it says that here, it has a uh, 12 by 24 inch poster, it printed in a sleeves with rare photos and liner notes. Five never-before-released bonus demo tracks. Special Eric Carle flashing light effect. Push his eyes on the cover. But I push him and nothing happens. So, uh, yeah, because you got to charge it. And it comes with a charging thing. If you have a look on the side there, you can actually... You probably don't know if you can see that, but there is a thing there to charge. I always liked him in Kiss. I thought he was cool. The last thing is the Mud Honey box set. Suck You Dry, The Reprise Years. Awesome. This was a must-have. We all love Mud Honey. So it comes with the three reprised studio albums, including the first North American vinyl release of Piece of Cake. I already have a copy of that. It doesn't really matter. Uh, plus the $5 Bob's Mock Coup to Stew EP. I don't have that. One LP of live bonus tracks, new to wax and six previously unreleased demos on green, pink, red and white vinyl. So there we go. Mud Honey's box set. It's costly, but it's worth it because it's Mud Honey. So there we go. That was my haul from Record Store Day. What was yours? 
Uh, let me know in the comments what stuff you're interested in, uh, what stuff you're hoping to get if you haven't already gone out, what stuff that you did get if you did go out, and yeah, what stuff were you uh, most looking forward to but couldn't get because, yeah, I'm like you in that, but I wanted that Ramones record more than anything, unable to get it. Just not lucky this time. But that's okay. You know, I'm sure it'll pop up somewhere. Anyway, take care of yourselves, look after each other, go buy some records, and thank you so much for watching another episode of The Long Gone Is A Rock Show. I'll be back again soon with another video. Take care. Bye-bye.